Welcome to Inside Concept Pro. How to set up SecureNet and add a site to the Concept Pro app. To set up your system using the SecureNet P2P connections, it's important to understand why it's a useful feature and what benefits it gives you over a traditional DNS connection through port forwarding on your router. The first most obvious benefit is the ease of install. Gone are the days where installing your recorder to be accessed remotely involve complex navigations through many different routers on the market. This proves to be very time consuming and extremely frustrating for the installer. The other benefit for the end user is securing its alarm center, which allows the NVR to be programmed to send alarm push notifications to the Concept Pro mobile app. So as for setting up, you'll need to ensure the NVR is connected to your broadband router and that you've enabled DHCP on the recorder in the network menu. You also need to ensure SecureNet Cloud Connection is enabled in the DDNS menu. You'll need to download the Concept Pro Viewer app from the App Store or Play Store, depending on the type of mobile device you're using. After downloading the app, register with the SecureNet server itself, especially important if you want to receive your alarm push notifications. Click the Sign Up option. You'll be presented with the account terms and conditions. Once you've read and agreed, tap on the radio button to confirm this and tap Next. It now displays the empty fields in order for you to enter the details. Select a suitable username for your account. Remember, it's not the same as your MVR username, totally separate. Enter a valid secure password and confirm this along with the email address for the account holder. And tap sign up. You will receive an email confirming your registration. And from this point, you can proceed to log into your account and adding your MVR. It couldn't be easier to add your MVR. Navigate to SecureNet at the top of the menu Click on it and a small QR code pops up. Click on Detail. Now you're ready to scan your NVR into the SecureNet device list on your smartphone. Get your phone, log into the SecureNet server with your registered details, and at this point, you need to add the connection. To do this, tap on the plus sign and enter a suitable server name. For example, Home, Work, Office. Note that the Mac option is highlighted. This essentially means the SecureNet ID. Tap on the QR scanner, and point it to the QR code on the monitor to get the ID from the NVR. Once this displays, enter the DVR NVR ID. The default is admin in uppercase, and the DVR NVR password default is 1234. Tap on save, and your connection is now ready to use. Finally, at the NVR, confirm the information on the screen and the QR code disappears.